Hey guys, we're doing uh, Haven once again, so let's get started and start rewatching all the stuff. My people established a new colony on Haven. It was going well, but now the colony's gone dark. They're not responding on any frequency. We need to get there and see what the situation is. They might have been exposed to the Zerg virus, and they are on the verge of Protoss space. Jim, I'm worried that something has gone very wrong. All right, let's go. We're almost to Haven, but there's still been no contact from... Sir, there's a Protoss fleet holding in orbit. They're disrupting all communications to the surface, and it looks like they're powering up their main weapons. Jim, you have to stop this. Matt, open a channel to the Protoss. Let's see how diplomatic they're feeling. Mentaro Tassadar, James Raynor. I am Executor Selendis. Your bravery and service to Ayr are known to us. Mentaro Tassadar Salendis. Listen, with all due respect, your fleet needs to pull back. The people on Haven are no threat to you. Our observers detected Zerg hive spores infesting the colonists. They must be purified. If you wish to undertake this mission in our stead, we will permit it. Jim, some of my people are infested. But you can't let the Protoss just destroy them all. If you keep the Protoss at bay, I know I can find a cure for the infestation. The only cure for Zerg infestation is purification by fire. You know this to be true, James Raynor. I can cure them, Jim. Believe me. If you choose to resist us, we will meet in glorious combat. The choice is yours, James Raynor. We await your answer. Well, um, if you watched the last part, uh, I did protect the colony, and, you know, and I said what I was really going to do was this. I just want to show off, you know, the how to play it and whatever, stuff like that. I'm doing this one mostly because of the plus three Protoss research, which is extremely important, um, because that's much more rare and much better, actually, of a tree in your research. So that's why you definitely do this one. I'm so sorry, Ariel, but the executor's right. Believe me, they wouldn't have come all the way here if their data wasn't conclusive. Call off your fleet, Salendis. This is a Terran thing. I'll handle it myself. What? This isn't right. I thought you were a better man than this, Jim. Ariel, if there was a cure, you would have found it by now. The only thing we can do is put an end to this once and for all. I won't accept that. Every one of my people can be saved. I'm close to finding the cure, I know it! Honor to you, James Raynor. You were ever a true friend of the Protoss. Although this work is painful for you, many more lives will be saved by your actions this day. Uh, Protoss are bros. We've all laid it on the line for these folks more than once. But there's only one way we can help them now. We've got to save the ones we can, and kill the rest. I know it's terrible, but if we wipe out these infested settlements, we'll save the whole damn planet from being overrun. Ain't nothing a little fire won't cure. A lot of ground to cover, though. We ain't got enough troops to be everywhere at once. Don't worry about it. Swan's already got that covered. Yeah, I got you covered. Had to call in a few favors to get the schematics for these babies. You owe me big time, Cal. Don't forget, these bad boys can switch between air and ground mode anytime you need them to. Those Vikings will make all the difference. But it looks like some of the infested colonists are turning already. And those structures are infesting more of them. Let's just get this done. Yeah, don't be a pussy. It's okay. Uh, so this one's... This one's um. This is actually fairly easy, and the first time I did this, I did this freaking horribly. If anyone <laughs> recalls me uh, in my blind version of this, oh man, did I <laughs> did I fail? Um, I basically waited for the structures to come up, and then they started spawning more crap to send at me, and it was it was pretty terrible. Um, don't make I don't make that mistake the same mistake again. It was just my lack of understanding. Hence, uh, you know, I guess the point of a blind. Infestation source detected. Sir, that virophage structure is spreading the Zerg virus to the colonists. 
We've got to destroy all the virophages. The more of them there are, the more infested we'll have to fight. Sir, I'm detecting some large Zerg flyers. They match the reported profiles for broodlords. Be careful. They're lethal against ground targets. Then we'll hit them from the air. Where are my Vikings at? There's your Vikings. That's where they're at. Alright, I'm gonna go build that there. Let's go make this go back here. Go Stay make that sharp. go back here. I want anyone that leaves the ship wearing a suit. Last thing I need is more people getting infested. They infest Marines too, brother. My orders still stand. Shouldn't be a problem for you though, Titus. Okay, uh, we just uh, now go in. That's pretty much it. Um, it's actually really, really easy uh, to do this one. Uh, just the same as the last one. Actually, you're going to go over here. And you're going to go... I don't know where I'm going to bring you. I guess you can go, just go like oh, up here, just to defend it over here. Because, you know, I'm just trying to get a, a good, good beeline kind of a thing. Just to make sure that they can't uh, attack it. And two Vikings to come out. I just want to make sure these people lords don't come, come and cause me any trouble. Okay. And here's what you can do. You go in the friggin' corner here. Because they do attack, unfortunately. Ah, uh, they do attack. But, you know, since we're in the corner here, we'll, we'll be in less of a pickle, so we'll be okay. Ready to blunder. And I actually want to get uh, additional supply depot right here. We will eventually go and, and grab uh, some... Oh yeah, that's right, they do that as well. Um, I'm eventually going to go make like a bunker, I think up here and then down there. Um, but it should be relatively simple doing that. Like it's just going to be like a matter of this. I'm not going to even bother with medics, because uh, generally they should be uh, in in bunkers, they shouldn't take any damage, and the reason I'm building some, them so close is so that they hopefully defend each other at times, which it, it may not always happen, but uh, actually, you know, that's, that one's too far. That one's better. And then that. That's much better. Okay. I wasted a bit of money there, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. Still pumping out of CPUs. And we gotta personally destroy all these Zerg. Oh, crap. Ay okay, come on guys. Yeah, there, there, there goes the first one. And just cook them. There you go. All done. Yes, you can hold them alone. Oh, and the cool thing is you can actually waypoint uh, the the Vikings to, to land as soon as they get there, which is kind of cool. I figured that out like later, and I was like, holy shit. I never knew that. That settlement has been cleared of Zerg biosignatures. Well done, sir. We're not quite good enough to go and, and take out the rest on our own yet, though. Um, so I would just stay in base for now and uh, you just, ready you know, heal battle. up. Get one more SCV out here. Though I think I'm good enough to just to get two gases going and then we got a third dedicated one, that's it. Yeah, what's going on now? See, so yeah, they're gonna just keep attacking bases. You can save them all, which is I don't know why Hansen had such a hissy fit, but you know. <laughs> Figures. What's going on? All right, uh, we'll get you down here. Uh, what warplanes though? You're gonna need additional this. Ready to blunder. I like. War pigs will be really nice. Um, I'm not even gonna bother. I didn't. I would have preferred not losing that fire bat, but nothing I can do about that. I'm not even like. Just don't even freaking bother with the barracks. Just you know, that's what the mercenaries are for, I guess. I guess you, I could have gotten fire bat mercenaries, but it's not a huge deal. As I said, I don't really care that much. Thank you. Okay, it's Frapp's fault. The infested are heading to a settlement in the south. Yeah, right here. So all you do, just send all your Vikings in, uh, do a little bit of, of micro Not when you get the opportunity. Can't hold them alone. Fortunately they did a bit of damage there. 
The main threat is the Mutalisks, because you don't actually do extra damage to them, and their attack does bounce. But it's not that big of a threat. Once you get on the ground, like obviously, you know, some of the ground units are threatening, but not a whole lot of them. It's usually okay. Still need more units. Oh, you know what? I should also get the uh, this out. He knows how I just have everything very close knit to the base. Alright. Uh, oh, you got one more guy here. It takes forever to build, too, so it's like you have nothing to worry about. Lift off anybody who's taking too much damage. And you can land them over here. Done already. Oh, shit. There's more fucking Woodlords. Tenman says Dr. Hansen has locked herself in the lab. Alone. She's desperate to save her people. I'm worried about what she might do. Uh, she might have a party. I don't know. There we go. We got all those guys. And let's go get these SCVs to go repair. What the frick? There you go. That's... Oh, fuck. Don't, don't do that. I accidentally double-clicked, I think, on one of them or something. Uh, and we fucking need more <laughs> supply depots. Ugh. Alright, let's go just build a supply wall here. Yeah, we're, running out, we're seriously running out minerals. And I'm running out patience for this lag. That's, that's another serious problem. We're almost at the point where I kind of feel comfortable with attacking them, but not quite. I still want to get a couple more uh, Vikings out. We're not in any real danger at the moment, so don't worry about it. Uh, we can actually go and we can actually go around the base for a bit, and uh, there's actually a few mineral patches and such, or should be. We go find them. I don't actually remember where they were. I didn't even use them the first time. I was just kind of like, whatever. Agreed. But they're in the forest, I'm pretty sure. I mean, if I wanted minerals, that's where I'd look. There you go. Oh, this is gas. Stupid gas. I want minerals. Whatever. Just do this. I can just take them off gas now. I have more than enough. Damn it, how much friggin' th gas is it gonna give me? Uh oh. Back up. Yeah, micro like a king. Let's get into the fight. Lost a lot more than I probably needed to. Fight or fight. Yeah, right. Alright, and we're actually at the point where uh, I can afford to get another starport. Uh, I'm getting a lot of resources somehow. I don't even know how. I think, I think you get bounty on every unit you kill. But this is still not enough to go kill those Zerg bases. But you don't, you don't have to worry though. Um, it's not timed like the last mission. It's Sir, actually very another settlement is being not strict. By the Zerg. Made for battle. It gives you all the time. Like it's literally they just keep attacking until you kill them all. So you know you're 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 good to go. Don't worry about that. Uh, just a few more of these guys. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Some supply depots. And then go through in there. And I think that's basically all of them I have. Oh, here we go. There you go. Uh, how do you. Oh, there we go. I was wondering, I'm like, I'm like how would I go straight to them? And then you click on the punch right now, not on the wireframe like I thought. Uh, don't make the same mistake I did. Like, actually, you know, make sure they're dead. Okay, we should be good. And notice the red ones in the back. Oh, sorry. Missed them. And we go back here. We got them all. Yeah, I know you would. But that's why I'm here, because I'm, like nice, I'm generally a nice guy. Wow, we get a lot of stuff. And a lot of lag, too. 
No idea how I'm going to fix that. Alright. Let's get them all here. And we're finally getting our, the resources we need. Yeah, I think it does. Just like after everything, it, it just decides to give you money. And get a couple of these. And one Marine will just be unlucky and have to stay out here. Or maybe I'll take out one of the crap ones. Yeah, you can get out. No one cares about you. It's lucky that they don't they don't appear to send any of the really powerful Zergs at uh, your way, so you know, consider yourself lucky. I, I actually haven't seen them do that, so Okay, we can go take out one of the bases now. I'm now confident enough that we can do that. Ready to blunder. Let's get into the can't hold them Come on. Oh crap. Oh crap. Well that would be a, a rather large attack wave. Well let's let him go go right in there. There we go. Run to the back. You can go to the back. Yeah, they're not in any danger. Neither of these guys. They don't even have spines, they have like nothing. Uh, one of the bases has like some mutas, but we're gonna save that one for last for obvious reasons. That, that one's like the hardest one to take. And, and I use the word hard subjectively. There we go. Oh no, we don't need any more things from here. Oh, and I did build an engineering base, so we'll just uh, take care of that. Oh no, 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 what are you doing? Stupid guys. Oh no, no, get out of here. Another settlement is coming under attack. Oh boy. Well, sorry guys, we'll have to finish you later. You just have to go straight away. Ah, oh, stupid Hydra, go away. Damn it, and that means we have to heal after, so. Insufficient gas. Oh wow, we're out of gas? Damn. Okay, I wasn't watching that. That was my bad. How are we doing for gas? And try and keep these two guys behind. Good stuff. Uh, oh, go back. I want to try not losing any. Like, like a king. Never forget that. It's like, that's, that's my king. That's going to be my line for like the entire campaign. You know, it'd be brutal to smack her like a king. Fuck everything else. That's the only advice I'll give you. Uh, and don't have a leg computer. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we got all the eggs. Good for me. Rainer will always Very save you. Well. Transformation systems. Huh? <laughs> save what would Jesus do? Be what would Rainer do? Ah, you scared me. You know, he does a lot of things. Uh, the first thing you'll run out of here, by the way, uh, is a lot. You're gonna just run out of minerals. I'm just telling you that now. Minerals run out like hell. The gas is actually pretty plentiful Rider. here. Upgrade complete. Oh wow, they trap themselves. Transformation systems prime. Fuck, what the fuck are you guys doing? Follow my orders, damn it. Oh shit, there's a. You know, okay, don't worry, they got it. Uh, it's almost worth getting two of these guys. Just make a hold position here. There you go. They will not need to ever go anywhere else. Insufficient Vespine gas. Damn, I'm running out of gas. Oh, well, you know what? I have a lot of minerals, so the next thing you can do is actually just build a command center right up here. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. It's for that. Right. Yeah, right. Okay, I'm happy enough with this. And they're going to just go repair that. So you guys go back to work. You go up here, and you're not actually going where I told you to. Victory. And this happens to be a great base for staging for just getting uh, whatever you need. Especially since minerals run out, you know. Oh, there's an ultra. 
Tops him down. And move up so the one in the back can also attack. No, you almost killed one. Yeah, I think that that's the second unit that can't catch a break in this game. Is the Ultralisk. It's still really easy. Alright, just taking these guys out. Um, I'm surprised they haven't counted this as a destroyed base yet. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna just finish this up. Give me a minute. And to the north? Oh, it's like right beside us too. That's the best part. Alright, this sector is clear. Nice work, boys. Now move on to the next area. Okay, we're just gonna take out the overlords because we, we don't want them hanging around our base. They're like giant balloons. Giant smelly balloons. And make a couple more supplies. And go right back here. Alright, this one's good. Move it over here. Oh, have to finish this up. They don't exactly have a mind of their own, I should say that. Alright, we're good here. And they're all dead. Yeah, see, now we have a good sizable force of these things. That was too close. Thanks. Yeah, that's good for us. That was too close. Uh, I think over here I can't quite go up there. No, I can't. But we should be repairing anyways. Alright. Come on, guys, up there. Ah, you scared me. And come on, Our you can SCBs land it. Are under attack. Made Fucking really. Go down here. There you go. Because these guys, I need a crap ton of healing here. Oh, whoa, they took one out. You useless SCV. What are you doing here? What do I pay you to do? I don't pay you anything. Oh. Alright, now go, now go take off again. And we already got that. Uh, I don't really care. <laughs> I love that. Alright, let's go up here and we'll go take this base. And we're gonna turn it, and the wonderful upgrade that we did get was planetary fortresses. And we don't actually have enough gas. Can't say I'm surprised. Which is why we're gonna actually do that right now. Why are you there? Okay, come on. Let's go take out that. Everybody, let's go. Oh, that's a shitty marine. Alright, done with that. Oh, actually, he, wa he wants really badly to go take out care of that reactor. What are you doing? Just go down here. Oh, look, you can get it. Stupid path thing. Okay, here's the next problem. There's a giant ramp here. And as we all know, ramps kind of suck. <laughs> Just so fucking many of them. <laughs> oh, look, it's the, the aberration, which sucks ass. If only they had spine crawlers, they would be in so much more of a better situation. Oh no, we lost one. You can obviously see my heart bleeds when I find out I lost one dude. Alright, come on. More units. I love having like tons of Vikings. They're like the funnest unit. Because they just like transform. You know me and Mechwarrior. Another settlement is being infested by the Zerg. Where is that one? Oh, over here? I'll get it on the way back. The infestor's pissing me off. Yeah, he's dead. They're just so damn good. I think their ground damage got nerfed. That was like the only thing they did to it. But they're so strong. We just keep talking talk about Vikings. This mission's all for that, man. Good job, sir. I'm picking up two more concentrations of Zerg biosignatures. Picking up leg. I think after this, I'll fix that up. No one lives Maybe two more concentrations. It's just fucking these guys. You ready for war? It's not concentration of them. They're just building up. Bad news. Huh. 
whatever. And you guys can all go up here. You have no purpose in being here. <laughs> ah, sorry about that. And we're already done with that. Really? The last one is definitely one of the more difficult ones. They can't even find a place to land. Why can't I land all these Vikings? He did indeed. Alright, to the planetary fortress. Not oh, we can just minerals. fill that up. Not enough minerals. You can't be serious. I always have enough minerals. And this guy can go all the way up here. The only one who should be idle is him, who is basically repairing both of these forces. Alright, take a bunch of these guys off. Why? Oh, because of that one thing? Well, let them have a taste of Planetary Fortress. Carbon nutritious breakfast. Just in case they come. Fight or flight. Yeah. Not enough And now we're running out of minerals again. But realistically, guys, you should really not be in a situation where you need more than this. Okay. This is like the pinnacle of <laughs> doing this doing this on brutal. Honestly. Transformation system ready to blunder. Literally a billion and one guys here. This one is kind of weird because you have to actually mix it up because uh, there are there are a lot of areas. Right. What you could do is um, I, I I don't know I, I'll try it a different way, which is basically um, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep them in air mode. I'm gonna try and take out most of their uh, the targets in the air. Uh, but there is gonna be spores. Holy rip, Batman! have this. You just have to take out all their air. Okay, now we can land it. No, no, actually, you can stay air. And that's that's the whole problem. Is they, they This is the one base they actually have air with. Uh, and so, if they have a spore somewhere, which is more than likely, uh, then they'll be hurting you a lot. So you can't, you kind of have to decide what you want to do with that. And I'm just going to split it up like that. It's just the way Not I'm going to roll. There's a lot of missing right. resources. Uh, it's better just to keep a bunch. Just, let's be on the safe side here. Fortunately, they actually follow where I'm telling them to go, uh, which is kind of a problem. If you're like me and you're trying to, like, you know, attack, move, micro. No, did you, did you kill that? I don't think you did. Did I quit legging? I don't think I did. There we go. I think they're done now. Oh, no, 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 land on that. We're not trading places. Come on. And there we go. And I think that pretty much does it for basically all the objectives on this, which is like don't let them don't let them infest you. It's done. I'm not detecting any more Zerg, but we have a problem in the lab. <gasps> you don't say. Yeah, it's like uh you complete it with three three things uh uh protected and then five, and I already did five, so it's seriously difficult. So, let's see what the problem is in the lab. Stepman is up to his old tricks. They're throwing a surprise birthday party for Rainer. I'm guessing that. Surprise! you too. 
Will you enjoy it? Will you enjoy killing me? Like you killed my children? You're infested. You're dead already. Jimmy's hardcore. Is this the the bad ending? I put in quotes. Ah, oh, five hours later, you know, cleaning all the blood off. No traumatization. <laughs> Can't you know? You gonna tell me I told you so? That we never should have gone to Agri in the first place? I ain't about to kick dirt on you when you're down. Just some bad luck is all. Besides, I'm sure your Protoss buddies are real proud of you. It was our own mess to clean up. I don't give a damn what the Protoss think. Your best and only source for news, this is Donny Vermillion for UNN. Refugees continue to flood Dominion space. They can't seem to find a safe planet anywhere. And they're showing up on our doorsteps. Donny, Emperor Mengsk today announced that he's ordered the fleet to turn away refugee ships that enter Core World systems. Which raises the question, will Dominion ships really fire on unarmed civilian vessels? General Warfield had this to say. All our efforts at this time are focused on halting the Zerg advance on the core world. In other words, the general dodged the question. If Dominion forces fire on unarmed civilians... Now, Kate, we can't second-guess our boys in the field, can we? You heard it here first. For UNN, I'm Donnie Vermillion. Oh, Mengsk is finding that running an empire ain't all it's cracked up to be. No, I wouldn't say so. I heard about what went down in the lab. Pity that, but don't let yourself get distracted from what has to be done. Take my advice. Keep it simple. No attachments. No strings. Just you. Against the universe. Sometimes I feel like anything I start caring about just gets destroyed. Not your fault. Did you ever stop and think what had happened if all those refugees from Agria had gone to the Core Worlds? That Hansen was a honey trap right from the start. Okay. Well, Time for a bold, unstoppable plan. In, in, in the cantina, that sounds great. Alright, we'll go to the bridge just to see what's up there. I'm sorry about Ariel, sir. You really didn't have a choice. He didn't say much. Armory. Do you think we could have saved more of those colonists? Honest? No. And you got your head up your ass if you think any different. There had to be a better answer, though. Maybe if we caught it earlier. Look, if the Protoss, with all their tech, psionics, and big freaking alien brains couldn't do anything for them, there ain't nothing we could have done. Sometimes life's just rough that way. All right, Armory. This is the good one. All right, we get base, which is uh, multiple SUVs can construct one bu one building, but the cost remains the same. Uh, I don't really care too much about that. Um, you know, it's it's useful maybe, but I don't really try to do that really, so I'm not going to do that. It's a, kind of a waste of SUVs. This is really good. They re they repair twice as fast. That's insane. So get that one. And also for starships. Uh, this is the their area damage for Vikings, which is kind of nice. And then there's a increase in range. I am getting both of these because I said already that I'm going to probably use Vikings more than once. Uh, and let's see what else we got. Uh, I guess we can technically get the hero Vikings from the mercenaries. 
Uh, depends how much they cost, because I'm right now using a lot of money. Uh, 45% extra health. Oh, that's kind of nice. Uh, sure, I'll get them. All right, into the labs. So a lot of that money I saved up, I now have. Sir, you should check out the research console. There's some exciting developments there. Uh, Protoss tank. Here we go. Uh, crystals growing. Huh. It's kind of, so I guess they, these things keep growing as you do more research. That's kind of interesting. All right, uh, you get a choice of either. Uh, this is basically increases weapon attack speed uh, when you do weapon upgrades. So you can see they're attacking much faster. Um, or you can get uh, tanking, which is basically they have 5% extra health as you get armor upgrades. Um, what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm going to get this one because you should normally do attack because it's like a best offense is a, be is a good defense, but this helps with micro basically uh, by giving you know a few extra hit points, which I think is really nice. You know, it's like an, it's like an extra, extra stim, so we're doing that one. Okay, I think we've pretty much covered everything. Uh, I can't think of anything else I would want to do. Uh, so, I guess that's it. So, hope you guys are enjoying. See you later.